What's up, everybody? Um, happy Thursday. Um, hope all of you are having a great day so far. Before I get into this, let me remind you of something. Did you notice that when Brenda and Jax were talking, Brenda referred to Carly as that woman? But two years ago, Brenda kept referring to Carly as that girl. I just wanted to point that out. Um, anyway, the women on this show are fucking deluded. Felicia needs to make a choice. Are you going to pick Frisco or Mac? Which one are you going to choose? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a motherfucker by his toe. Which one is it going to be? I'm tired of the bullshit. Make a choice. Um. Anyway. <sighs> Olivia, she was... Um, worried still about Dante and Lulu, which is understandable. So, you know, but Maxie and everybody was telling her, they're, you know, they're worried about them too, but there's not really anything they can do. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. It's not really nothing they can do about it. Um, speaking of Lulu, M. Ryland, who used to play Abby Newman on The Young and the Wrestles, will be stepping in as the new Lulu a week from today, April the 11th. That's a week from today. We will be seeing the new Lulu. I hope she does a great job. I'll tell you one thing. She did a fantastic job as Abby Newman on YNR. So I hope she does a really great job as the new Lulu. I'm really, you know, cheering for her. Um... Anyway, Patrick and Emma, I love Emma. I swear to God, I love that little girl, but she is too grown. <laughs> that little girl is way too grown. When she kept talking about Sabrina's new boyfriend, you know, she did that shit on purpose to rub it in Patrick's face. So that way Patrick could get jealous and try to do something about it. Now, that's, that's a smart ass little girl. Robin would be proud. Um, And then she was talking about how. Felix liked Magic Milo and um that shit was so crazy. But she was like how Magic Milo don't like boys. I was like, this girl is too grown. Felix need to stop talking in front of this little girl. She is too little to be knowing all that information. Um so when Patrick went to go open the door, it was his father, Noah, Noah Drake coming back. Um, so, you know, they started talking and, you know, he was telling them why he was in Port Charles, I guess, you know, for the nurse's ball, of course. And then Sabrina comes over to pick up Emma. And, you know, she knows Noah because they did Skype or whatever. When Sabrina babysitted Emma, so, you know, they know of each other. They know each other a little bit. And even Noah was telling uh, Patrick, he really do need to step up to the plate and tell Sabrina how he feel and stop bullshitting around and stop acting like a coward. I agree. I'm like, this storyline needs to come to an end, but I already know it's about to come to an end because Robin's coming back with any luck. Um whenever the powers that be actually wants to bring her back. Um, I really don't give a damn who got a problem with me bashing Frank or Ron. Let me tell you something. I like some of the things they do, but I despise a lot of other shit that they do because they drag shit out. I hate when a storyline takes months and months and months to be over when it should have been over the next day. Seriously, get it together. They will juice a storyline for whatever is worth, and it ain't worth much. By God, I would be 90 years old before a storyline would actually end. Um, anyway, so yeah, Patrick, he needs to just tell her how he feel. Um, so all the ladies were in the suite getting dressed, and you know, I'm about to ask y'all this question who looked good in a dress? Now, I know y'all saw Anna in her gold dress. You saw um, Olivia in what her turquoise dress, I think that was. Was it? I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, Tell me, which one of them look good? Bobby. I think they all look good. Emma, she looked real good in her little dress. 
she had the tear and stuff like that. That was nice. Um, so I think they all look good. Maxi, you know, with her little baby bump. Um, anyway, so Sabrina, you know, Felix. Oh, speaking of Felix. He was in love with those couture dresses that Lucy Co had. He was like, you know what I could do with all these dresses? I was sitting here rolling. I was like, Felix is a nut. But he put on a tux and the makeover that he gave Sabrina, I was like, she looked like a completely new person. She looked gorgeous, even though she's already a beautiful girl. But I think she looks way more gorgeous. And when Patrick walked through that door, he couldn't believe his eyes. I know his heart jumped out of his chest when he saw Sabrina. That's a beautiful chick. Um, anyway, Lucy Co. she was dancing with um, Duke, you know, because he's going to be her dance partner at the nurse's ball because Kevin Collins has to go back to Seattle for a patient. So he's not going to be there. Um, so Mac and Duke were talking about Felicia and I agree with Mac. You know, it's up to Felicia now who she wants to be with because Mac is done playing games with this chick. And I don't blame Mac. He deserves better. And hopefully the writers bring in someone better for him. Um. Anyway. Carly was talking to Bobby or whatever, saying that she couldn't go to the nurse's ball because she has something more important to do. So next thing we know, she's at Brenda and Jack's suite at the Metro Court telling Jax about how Brenda was at Sonny's house the night before and telling him how Brenda said she wanted to get back together with Sonny. And then she's smiling, got a little smirk on her face, talking about my work here is done. I was like, this bitch, Carly is a mess. I like Carly know she need to mind her fucking business. It was not her business to tell Jax that Brenda was at Sunny House, but I'm glad somebody told him because Brenda wasn't. And then she finally admitted that she was at Sunny's house and she talking about, oh, it wasn't a big deal. Jax was like, obviously it is a big deal because why are you hiding it? And she talking about, well, I'm telling you now, excuse me, you're telling him now, bitch, you got caught. I like Brenda and all, you know I do, but I like Brenda from back in the day because this Brenda just pissing me the fuck off for her logic. How you telling Jackson now about what happened the night before at Sunny House? Only reason why you're telling him because you got caught. Because Carly busted jazz. Then you still sitting there lying, talking about Carly lying. Brenda, tell the truth. So Jax was asking her. Do you want to be back with Sonny? And she flat out said it, cold hearted. She was just like, yeah, I want to be back with Sonny. I was like, wow, that is the shortest engagement I've ever seen in my life. No, actually, it's not the shortest engagement. The shortest engagement I've ever seen in my life was Jason and Elizabeth five years ago. That was the shortest engagement I've ever seen. They was engaged for one night and broke it off the same night. Jason broke it off. I was like, hot damn. Um, but yeah, I, you know, and then Carly, you know, Brenda telling Jax she's with Jax because she love him. And if you love him, how you love him and still want to be with him and you claim that you're still with him, but yet you just admit it. You wanted to be back with Sonny. You honestly think Jax is going to marry you after you just said that shit. You lucky he didn't ask for that big ass ring back, which I'm sure he probably will, because I know that has to cost him some money. Um, so Jax walked out on her. She got upset, which she doesn't have a right to be upset. Like if it wasn't, if you going to see Sonny wasn't a big deal, how come you ain't tell Jax? And you talking about, oh, you want to tell him about your engagement? Like, like I said yesterday, Brenda had no reason to tell Sonny about the engagement. If you really want to tell him about the engagement, send him a text, send him an email, call him. That's how you tell him. Y'all are divorced. You have no kids together. So you. It was none of Sonny's business. Why did you see fit to personally tell him when you didn't have to do that? So obviously you want to be back with Sonny. Obviously you wanted Sonny to talk you out of marrying Jax. Obviously you're playing games. And like I said, all of these people on the show are too fucking old to be playing games. The only person I want to see on this show playing games is Jocelyn and Emma. Those are the only children I want to see playing games. Everybody else is too grown for the games. So Carly goes home 
with a big smirk on her face. Long and behold, Sonny Corinthos is sitting right there in her house. She talking about something. What you doing barging up and talking about something? What you doing just coming into my house? I'm like, uh, hello, bitch. You just came into his house last night. What you saying? So apparently Sonny. And this is the big mystery. Why does this bitch have a key to Sonny house? Your kids are grown and your kids don't live with y'all. So why do you still have a key to Sonny house? Y'all been divorced for six years. What do you still have a key to your ex-husband's house for? That is bona fide stupid. Anyway, I digress. So he telling Carly that he was just returning a favor. He returned her negligee that she cleverly dropped on the floor to frame Brenda just in case Jax went over to Sonny's house to prove a point, which he didn't. But she wanted to frame Brenda, which was stupid. Down my ass idea because it didn't work. But her other plan worked called the truth um so Sonny you know of course he knew because he got security cameras all around his house and Sonny I agree with Sonny he told Carly back off let it go and I think Sonny is more mature now because you remember back in 1996 when Brenda after Brenda married Jax Sonny got in between their marriage and brought in Jax's first wife which invalidated Brenda's marriage to Jax because he was still in love with Brenda. But this time, he's taking a step back. And he's not getting involved in their relationship. Carly needs to take a page out of Sonny book and back the fuck off. Because it's none of her business. Why don't you let, if like Sonny said, Jax need to buy a clue. If he wants to marry Brenda, knowing that she's still in love with Sonny. That's for him to figure out. Not for Carly to run her mouth. So then Carly telling Sonny she's going to the nurse's ball with him. She told Sonny that she's going to the nurse's ball. Sonny, she told him she'd be ready in five minutes. Sonny was like, you are not going to be dressed in no five minutes. She's like, okay, 10 minutes. Carly is a fucking nut. But, um, yeah, I love this episode. Um, I agree with Sonny. Carly just needs to back off, mind her business. It's none of her fucking business. She had no right to run off at the mouth. Brenda needs to tell Sonny the truth and see if Sonny would take her back. Mind you, Sonny has not mentioned Kate or Connie, not one bit, but, you know, I like telling people I told you so. I told you he had dropped Kate ass in a hot second once Brenda showed her ass in Port Charles, I'm telling you. But, um, anyway, I can't wait for tomorrow's episode, the cliffhanger Friday episode. I cannot wait. Shit is going to hit the fan at this nurse's ball. I can feel it. Um, I hope all of you have a great day. I'll see all of you tomorrow. I'm out.